I, I want to share the school prayer with you. Sit exactly where you are and just listen for a while. This is what we live by. Let us pray. Bless, O oh Lord, this college. Create among us a spirit of comradeship and loyalty to one another. When we are called to obey, let us obey with willingness. When we are called to serve, let us serve with gladness. When we are called to rule, make us rule with justice. Drive away from us all ignorance and hardness of heart. All things dishonorable and unclean. Build us up in body, mind, and spirit until we come to the full stature of the perfect man, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. My job is to, to welcome everyone. Welcome to Jamaica College, especially to the ladies. Welcome to Jamaica College. It, it, it is an especially great time for us with all difficulties and challenges because we've been back to school for the last two weeks face to face. And the 1,600 boys are running up and down on campus. We've had two broken hands, three fights, um, a number of dislocations, two trips to the hospital, and we're back to normal. So we are, we're happy to be here. I, I spoke to the first farmers on which day was it, sir? Second, Tuesday. And I said, we have first farmers who are first farmers, second farmers who are first farmers, and third farmers who are first farmers because they've never been to the school. And I said to them this week, Jamaica College is the only school with a national hero. The leading school in the Caribbean for producing leaders. And I read out a list of leaders. And the last name I read on that list, having read the Matalons, the Ashenimes, the Gores, the Gardens, the Hendricksons, the Bandleys, the, 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 the Prime Ministers, and if I start calling names, I'm in trouble because I leave out the governor of the Bank of Jamaica or, or, and I'd leave out Michael Bernard, Ainsley Henriquez, the faces. A while ago, Craig Henderson touched his watch and said, we're not going to start, and I said, you're just like your father. And the last name I read was the Honorable R, Dr. The R, Honorable R. Danny Williams. And I s explained to the young men who this man was, who this man is, and what it will be for them to even walk in his shoes. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here this morning to recognize R. Danny and to dedicate this building known as the Old Assembly Building. We've called it the Foundation Building. We've called it the museum building. We've called it the robotics building. As you know, but <laughs> it was the gym when I was here at GAC too. So the geography, where the, where the robotics lab is now, that, 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 that the Hendrickson family refurbished, built over and re-roofed this room, was the geography room for me, Miss, Miss, Miss for, for, right. Um, Miss Marsh used to teach us geography there. I won't tell you what we call her. Um, but. But this, this building now has found a home in the name of the Honorable R. Danny Williams. <laughs> Cynthia Sullivan at the back was a part of the planning of this in terms of just being here this morning. And Christina from marketing, I, I want to thank you very much because you've done a wonderful job. I, I, can we keep this? This man is a giant among men. And I won't even talk to how personally I've learned from him and him being one of my mentors. I won't speak to the fact that I can't invite him up to my office now because he will hit me with a cane because he complains about the, the state of my desk. But I will tell you that what we do at Jamaica College daily as leaders is an attempt to emulate what he has set as a standard in the, in the past. He has, the Jamaica College has a rich, the richest legacy of old boys in the Caribbean and who contribute to the school. And Danny's at the top of that list. And there was a time when we were in the darkness and Danny found 
a whole light of sunshine to bring this school to where it is now, back as one of the preeminent schools of Jamaica and the number one choice. Danny was the fulcrum on which the school turned. He brought the people together. He brought the concept together. He brought the concept together. I remember when he, I spoke to him first, he was up here on a weekend. There were truckloading about 17 truckloads of garbage out of the school. And Danny was standing outside there. That is the kind of hands-on effort. I want to commend Mrs. Will and thank her for loaning him to us. Still, because he knows that I won't even tell you that up to this week, I've met with Danny three times this week. One of the nights we didn't stop until 10 o'clock. That's the work he's doing today. He's supposed to be retired. We know that already. I want to say the blue blood of Jamaica College runs through the Honorable Dr. The R, Honorable R. Danny Williams and our responsibility is to live even a fraction of the contribution that he's made to the country, the world, and Jamaica College. This dedication this morning is only the smallest of tokens of recognition. And I can tell you, we brought this up when I just came five and a half years ago, and Danny told me flatly, absolutely no. And I kind of rested it and... Uh, you know, when Danny tell you no. Know, right now, he didn't know about this, and he'll probably tell you about that later. One time this week when he met, it almost slipped out, because he didn't know about it. I think one of you all slipped it out to him some shortly before the ceremony, because we didn't tell him. Because he's that kind of person. The work that he's done for this country and Jamaica College will never, ever be totally recognized because he's not the man who's going to blow the trumpet and he's not going to allow the trumpet to be blown once he knows he doesn't want the accolades he's just happy to see the boys back at school and the school thriving I want to on behalf of the staff management team students stakeholders of Jamaica College say thank you sir say thank you sir and I want to welcome everyone to Jamaica College this morning. Our ceremony will be short, but it will be impactful because it recognizes one of us who has done the ultimate service for his country and school. Ladies especially, welcome to Jamaica College. Thank you very much. I'm going to right away.